Hi there. In this video I'll be answering a question about uncertainties. Calculating the random uncertainty in a number of readings and expressing it as either an absolute or percentage uncertainty. The question relates to an experiment on interference, so I'll be explaining that too. Here's the question from the 2007 Old Hire paper. An experiment to determine the wavelength of light from a laser is shown. A second order maximum is observed at point B. Part A then asks us to explain in terms of wavelengths how a maximum is formed. So when answering this question, the first thing we can see is that this is due to constructive interference. We can also say that at point B, or any other maximum, waves are meeting in phase, with crests meeting crests and troughs meeting troughs at that point. A similar interference pattern would be observed if the grating was replaced with something called a Young's double slit. This creates two coherent sources of light, in other words with the same frequency and a constant phase difference. We can explain the production of a maximum, or maxima, in terms of the path difference, the difference in length between the first path length, say between the first slit and the maximum being observed, and the second path length, between the second slit and the maximum. When the path difference is equal to a whole number of wavelengths, then this results in constructive interference and a maximum being produced. We can use the same explanation here, that there's a path difference equal to a whole number of wavelengths. The big difference with using a grating rather than Young's double slits is that there would be far more coherent sources of light, so the interference pattern would be brighter. The slits would also be very close together, which would result in the maximas being further spread out. This is explained further in another video with the title Interference, and it's about time we spoke about uncertainties. This is B part 1 of the question. Distance AB is measured 6 times. The results are shown. We're then asked to calculate the mean value for distance AB and then the approximate random uncertainty in this value. To find the mean value, we just add all the values of distance together, then divide by the number of readings, giving us 1.10 metres. The random uncertainty is calculated using this equation. This is actually a shortened version of the one found in the relationship sheet to allow it to fit on screen. So random uncertainty is the maximum value from the list of results, minus the minimum value, divided by the number of values. This gives us 1.13 minus 1.07 divided by 6, which works out to be 0.01 metres. In the next part of the question, we'll be converting this value to a percentage uncertainty. As it's written now though, you can see that the random uncertainty and the mean value both share the same units, metres. Written like this, the random uncertainty of 0.01 metres is known as an absolute uncertainty. Part 2 says, distance BC is measured as 270 plus or minus 10 millimetres. Show whether AB or BC has the larger percentage uncertainty. We'll work out the percentage uncertainty in AB first, like this. We divide the absolute uncertainty in AB by its mean value. That's 0 0.01 divided by 1.10. The values to be calculated in the last part of the question, then multiply by 100. This gives us a percentage uncertainty in AB of 0.9%. We use the same method for BC. Divide the absolute uncertainty of 10 millimetres by the mean value 270 millimetres, then multiply by 100, giving us 3.7%. We can now see that BC obviously has the larger percentage uncertainty, but we should still write this down. Just remember that if an uncertainty has the same units as the mean value, then it's an absolute uncertainty, like this one. This, however, is obviously a percentage uncertainty. In the next part of the question, we'll be asked to calculate the wavelength of the laser with its associated uncertainty. To do this, we'll use the values of AB and BC, as well as other information. Since the percentage uncertainty in BC is greater than in AB, it should be taken as the percentage uncertainty in the wavelength. Let's take a look at the question. Part 3 says, the spacing between the lines in the grating is 4 times 10 to the negative 6 metres. Calculate the wavelength of the light from the laser. We'd also ask to express your answer in the form wavelength plus or minus absolute uncertainty. So the first thing we'll do is calculate angle theta between the central maximum and the second order maximum. We can do this by using trigonometry, since we know the values of BC and AB. Remember that BC is 270 millimetres, which is 270 times 10 to the negative 3 metres, or 0 0.27 metres, and AB is 1.10 metres. It's important to make sure that both these measurements have the same unit. So angle theta is sine to the negative 1 
0.27 divided by 1.10, which is 14.2 degrees. We now have all the information we need to calculate wavelength using this equation. This can then be rearranged like so, to make wavelength lambda the subject. D is the spacing between the lines in the grating. Theta is the angle between the central maximum and the maximum being observed. And M is the order of the maximum being observed. In this case, M is 2, since it's a second order maximum. If we substitute these values into the equation, we get the answer of 4.91 times 10 to the negative 7 metres. Remember that before, we calculated the percentage uncertainty in AB as 0.9% and the percentage uncertainty in BC as 3.7%. We take the larger percentage uncertainty, 3.7%, as the percentage uncertainty in wavelength. The only thing is that we're asked to calculate the absolute uncertainty. To do this, we calculate 3.7% of our calculated value for wavelength, which works out as 1.8 times 10 to the negative 8 metres. Finally, we combine these two values, so the wavelength of the light from the laser is 4.91 times 10 to the negative 7, plus or minus 1.8 times 10 to the negative 8 metres. And that ends our question. If you're interested, there is another video where I go over a past paper question on interference. Look out for this one. For more information on upcoming videos, summary sheets and so on, visit physics-podcast.co.uk. Thank you for listening.